Hello everyone and welcome back to another video covering more of the console paladins free agency. My name is Blue and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe for more PCL and console paladins videos. The 2019 PCL season is still a ways away but we have already seen some big moves. Today Elevate has announced that they have released GR Crazy, the two-time HRX winner with Elevate both times. He was released by them after winning the first HRX and now again after winning the most recent one in Atlanta, not even a full week ago. Elevate has already found a replacement and it seems to be an upgrade by taking the number one free agent on the market in Skeppy. Now we talked about his possible options in our last video and it turns out this was exactly one of those we spoke about. So it feels good to be right. This now leaves Wonderful as the number one free agent still on the board and we still have no news as to where he will end up or if he plans on building a new team, maybe even with some Overwatch kids he knows. Where he will end up is still exciting but also a huge question mark. Then there is Miracle who apparently will not be switching to PS4 and instead staying on Xbox building a team. Now by rumor it's with his former teammates Coolmat and Trenzik. Also bring in Soldier Bot and the Frogman himself, Dovican. Although this would be a great lineup on paper, there is still the Elevate roster who have said they will be swapping back to Xbox and the Kirsty's Hands roster which has also gotten stronger. There is also rumor that Soldier Bot will be pursuing a career on PC. But this could also be a troll because people like making me sound stupid in videos like this. Enough about the Onslaught boys and the rest of North America and let's talk about some other big names in the free agency pool from the other side of the pond. As everyone should know by now, Vexed, one of the longest standing rosters in Console Paladins, has broken up. Narc has decided to retire to finish his schooling and this is respectable. Not playing Paladins for this reason and a few others is a good choice and not much I can argue against. I hope that he succeeds in school and whatever else he does. And I'm here if he needs me for anything outside of Paladins as well. Much respect to him for what he has done and accomplished in and outside of the Paladins scene. So let's talk about the remaining players from Vexed. Lexi Zen, Slopadopolis, Welshmania, World, and Yui. The best option in my opinion would be World because of his deep resume and ability to play some high skill cap champions like Bomb King and Drogos. The best option I think would be for him to move to PS4, which he has said is a viable option and join the Flashpoint roster. Now you may ask, if they have 5 plus a sub, who would I replace? And I thought about this for a while and even played out different scenarios according to the roster's play at LAN. They all performed well, but Goodlad reportedly didn't want to play Drogos because he felt uncomfortable on it at the time. World is the best Drogos on console if you ask me, so this would instantly upgrade that and he can play the Willow and Bomb King making Prosper focus on his hit scans and flanks more in depth and not need to worry about having such a huge champ pool. Good lad would stay on the roster however and still be a flex but instead playing the second tank if need be. World would come in as the second flex to play the blasters and tank maybe <coughs> and, and play the second tank if need be or the third tank. Maybe some off heels and a two support team comp as well. I would then move Harvey to support and either drop or bench Storm Avatar. He is a great support and one of the best on all of console. But this is the best viable move in my opinion. Slopadopoulos would also fit into this roster just the same. Except he would be the off tank and good lad remain on DPS mostly. However, I think World is a better and more veteran player at this point in time than Slopadopoulos. As for Welsh Mania and Slop, I would imagine if they do not join each other or create teams from scratch, then, then one of them would be a great addition to Radiant, who dropped the rookie Potent. Even though he led the league in overall damage and was top 20 in kills and damage per game. If they want pure damage, then Welsh is their guy. And if they want someone able to flex more easily, then of course Slop is the viable option. Now for Lexi Zen. The stock is very low for him because he was, has stated he doesn't want to play support anymore. And that is what we have seen him play most of the time at LAN and online. We saw him dabble in frontline for a small bit, but it didn't really work out and wasn't very impressive. We have also seen him play DPS, but most of those showings were on Maeve when she was very strong and before she got nerfed hard, to which she is now clearly not as strong. 
considering she was never picked at HRX or in the PCL. So for Lexi, it is a big question mark for me. Last but not least is Yui, who was the sub, but unlike normal subs, he actually played 10 games this PCL and made it to HRX as well. Due to this, his stock in the market went way up, and people got to see how good he actually is with a decent team behind him. But how will he do with less skilled players around him if he needs to rebuild or join someone not as good as the one's dominant Vex? No one knows. It's kind of like that one NFL or NBA player that has a breakout year and signs a huge deal with another team afterwards, being portrayed as their new star, and he either flops or delivers. I honestly have no clue where Yui will end up this early in the free agency market, or if he will swap to PS4 if need be, or if he will try to tag along with another of the Vex boys. I like him as a player, and I honestly cannot wait to see where he goes. But as of right now, I have no idea. That's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Twitch at RealBlueTV. There's no E in blue.